All right, now that we've optionally connected the capture file, let's go ahead and create groups. Now, if this looks a little different to you, maybe you skipped the last video on creating the capture file. We're just going to go here to Onyx, load, and we're going to load the demo show. So you should, by default, uh, open up when you go to load a file. It will open up this directory here, which is the Onyx uh, show file directory. And then we go to samples, choose Onyx 4.6 training .onyx show, and it will then load once you select it. I've already done that, so I'm ready to go. The benefit of using this training file is there's a lot already done for us and a lot we can make use of, but we're still going to go through all the steps that the team used to create this file so you understand how to do it when you're building your own files for your own events. So. We patched fixtures, now let's create groups. Groups are just exactly what they sound like. It's a group of lights in a specific order uh, that you recall, you select, in order to then apply different attributes to. And the best way to do this is go from groups to presets, record those to cues. We'll cover this a little bit later. So we have a groups tab in this default uh, view one here that has a bunch of groups already built in it. Let's go ahead and build our first group for fun. So we've got our fixtures in our fixtures tab. We can select individually, or we can type the numbers on the keypad to select them even faster. So for example, we have one through five, then 101 through 110. Hey, look, they number things like I do. Why? Because it's really good common practice. So say for example, I wanted to take one through five, enter. I could select those lights. I could clear twice, then I could do one plus three plus five for every other fixture. Press enter, they're now selected. If I press highlight, I can see them tapping it on and off in the visualizer turn on. Highlight is just a tool to be able to see what you're selecting. It can be really handy, but it can also kind of bite you in the butt if you forget it's on. So to create a new group, all we do is press record, Go to the Groups tab and hit any of the groups that aren't already uh, occupied. So I'll just choose Group 6. Then immediately afterwards, I can type to name the group. And so we'll call it uh, 135 maybe. Now that was on the numbers above the keyboard. You could call it whatever you want, numbers, letters, etc. Press Enter. You can rename it anytime by just pressing the group again. And we could call it uh, Main Front, even though it's not quite... Um, whatever you want to call it, you can rename it anytime. Okay? Um, and so that's important. That, that's what a group is. A group selects the fixtures, which are then put into the programmer. Okay? And now you're working with them to be able to build the rest of the parts of your show. You can select and deselect groups by pressing them or by using the group. So we can press group key, six, enter, we select it. We can select other groups, we can deselect groups etc. Now, when we are selecting groups, uh, sometimes you're going to see, like for example, when we select this fuse wash group here, we see that the group below it, and actually two groups below it here, also are selected. Why did that happen if we didn't select those? Well, those groups uh, are, are completely selected at the same time, so they're showing selected here in our display. Okay, you could deselect just those fixtures. So this is the fuse wash, and this is the stage right ones, and this is the stage left ones. And so we can actually select the whole group, and then we could subtract, we could deselect the stage left ones just by pressing. Nice and easy. Okay, um, now you're probably like, okay, David, can we at least turn some lights on before we go to the next option? And, and let's do that. So we'll just go here to our, our encoders here, and if you're on a console, you'll have physical encoders. Go to intensity if you're not already there, bring it to full, and now we've brought those lights to full. Now in order to uh, use it somewhere, we can record, and we'll do that in a minute in our next video. But uh, for the sake of just clearing the programmer so that they're no longer on and we're not accidentally going to record them to something, we'll just go ahead, press clear, and then press it again. Clearing once, deselects lights. Clearing twice clears everything out of your programmer, and we'll talk more about that as we go. Awesome.
That's creating groups. That's the very basics. Join us in our next video, and we're going to talk all about presets. We'll see you there. Thanks.